Hello and thank you for watching this video. My name is Lee Noring. I'm a professional internet marketer and have been in business since 1996 when I signed up my first paid customer. In this demonstration video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a new Gmail account to automatically forward all the mail sent to that account to a different email address. So this is a Google search page and on just about any Google search page even if you've been searching an item you'll see this row up here web images videos maps news Gmail and more click the Gmail link. Now you gotta make sure that you're not signed in currently to Gmail or your Google account. If you are you need to sign out. Now down here you'll see this little button right here. New to Google? Create a, an account. Now this will give you an opportunity to put in your name In this case, I'm uh, trying for towing business and the uh, chances are I, this won't be available. What do you know? It is available and we will claim it. Here you got to have uh, a minimum of eight characters in length. I recommend that you use a combination of letters and numbers. And if you don't mind, I'll keep mine secret. Stay time then. I would suggest that you unclick this and I uh, set Google as your default uh, home page. I, I wouldn't do that unless you really want to. Security question. You have a choice here. I'm going to choose write your own question. And the question is, is who is Lee Noring? Answer. I'm going to put and recovery email. This would be your email address. This particular email address is one I use for all signups. I have taken full advantage of a service called uh, uh, Spam Cop. $35 a year and they delete about 400 spams a day email from me and I totally like it. So, now, in case you're wondering, that's not really my birthday. Uh, Got to keep some things private, right? Then you have this gizmo right here that we all love, right? That's just to prove I'm a living, breathing person. I accept. Now when you finally get to this window after passing the gamut of the Google orientation and training just by uh, clicking the you know the next button or the button they hand you at the time. In this example it says it looks like you're enabled Internet Explorer capability. Uh, I uh, just dismiss this, uh, but uh, if you're new to Google, I recommend that you uh, learn how to do this. But in this particular example, what I'm uh, doing is showing you how to set up uh, automatic forwarding. 
So once you reach this page, these are standard uh, emails that every Google account receives as soon as the account is open. Click on your settings button up here. And right here you see where it says forwarding in iPop. And you click this button right here, it says forwarding. And you type the email address that you want all your Google Mail to go to. A confirmation code has been sent to the verify permission. There's a couple reasons they do that. One is they want to make sure you receive your messages. And what you do next is check your email box and get the code and just paste it in. Right here is where you put the verification code. Now the next step is the easiest in a lot, and that's just to wait for your email confirmation with the confirmation code uh, in your email box. Uh, generally, Google sends it out right away, so if you hit the send to receive button, you'll probably receive it. And in this case, I have already received it. Now you go back to your email box and look for the Gmail forwarding confirmation. And when you open the email, it will look something like this. And right here is your confirmation number. And what you need to do first, what you absolutely need to do is to click this link here, right here. And it will open and verify that your confirmation has been accepted. Here you see the notice towingbusiness at gmail.com can now forward and the confirmation code is right here now what I usually do is copy to make sure that I get it correct and you come right back to the uh, the Google settings page by you get to here in your Gmail account you click right here and everything goes away and I hit paste and the number goes in. Make sure you don't have any extra spaces for that because that will cause it to be wrong. And it's a real common error that copying and pasting has. Now I hit verify. Now that's it. Now you have a choice of adding a forwarding email address again. Um, right here, what I uh, do is have them eliminate the copy after it's set. That way, my Gmail box will, won't get full and stop working, which is something that happens quite often. And if you ever no, notice you're not getting your, your emails forwarded to you anymore, be sure to go back to your account, Gmail account, sign in, and delete all the emails you've already seen. Now, that's how easy it is to do this. Now, let's see. I can test this email I suppose oops didn't have the, had the wrong thing there I just like to put it in the subject and everything so I know what it's all about and send it and don't uh, hand out this new Gmail address until you receive uh, your answer by mailing it to yourself at the new Gmail account and receiving it in your inbox. Now that's how easy it is to set up your Google Gmail. If you ever need help, feel free to give me a call. My name is Lee Noring. My phone number is area code 530-668-1132. I am located in Woodland, California which is about a hundred miles east of San Francisco and a little under 20 miles west of Sacramento. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.